It's Sasha, and today we'll be reading From Seed to Pumpkin by Wendy Pfeiffer, illustrated by James Graham Hale. Let's begin. When spring winds warm the earth, a farmer plants hundreds of pumpkin seeds. Every pumpkin seed can become a baby pumpkin plant. Underground, covered with dark, moist soil, the baby plants begin to grow. As the plants get bigger, the seeds crack open. Stems sprout up. Roots dig down. Inside the roots are tubes. Water travels up these tubes the way juice goes up a straw. In less than two weeks from planting time, green shoots poke up through the earth. These shoots grow into tiny seedlings. Two leaves, called seed leaves, uncurl on each stem. They reach up towards the sun. Sunlight gives these leaves energy to make food, like us, Plants need food to grow, but green plants do not eat food as we do. Their leaves make it. To make food, plants need light, water, and air. Leaves catch the sunlight. Roots soak up rainwater, and little openings in the leaves let air in. Using energy from the sun, the leaves mix the air with water from the soil to make sugar. This feeds the plant. Soon, broad, prickly leaves with jagged edges unfold the stems. The new leaves are rough and prickly, but the seed leaves are smooth and rounded. The seed leaves dry up. Now the new leaves make food for the pumpkin plant. Each pumpkin stem has many sets of tubes. One tube in each set takes water from the soil up to the leaves so they can make sugar. The other tube in each set sends food back down so the pumpkin can grow. The days grow warmer. The farmer tends the pumpkin patch to keep weeds out. Weeds take water from the soil. Pumpkin plants need that water to grow. Pumpkin plants don't stand up tall. As the stems grow longer, they sprawl all over the ground before long, twisted, tangled vines cover the pumpkin patch. Soon, flower buds appear on the vines. After each bud opens, its orange petals grow bigger and bigger. They look like bright orange umbrellas. During the heat of the day, the flowers close. They open again during the cool nights and early mornings. The bright orange flowers attract swarms of bees. The bees buzz about, carrying yellow pollen from the male flowers to the female flowers. Now pumpkins can grow. The petals wither away. Where the flowers bloomed, Tiny hard fruits begin to grow. Hundreds of these cling to the vines. The days grow hot. All summer, the warm sun and the cool rain help the tiny fruits grow larger and larger. Soon, summer is over. The corn stalks next to the pumpkin patch turn brown. Leaves on trees turn red orange, and yellow. Pumpkins change color too. As they ripen, they change from green to yellow, then to orange. In just four months, small, flat, white pumpkin seeds have grown into big, fat, orange pumpkins. The pumpkins are ripe and round with lumps and bumps. They come in all sizes and shapes. 
and they're waiting in the autumn sun. Some pumpkins will be carved into jack-o'-lanterns for Halloween. Some will be baked into pumpkin pies for Thanksgiving. Colorful leaves turn brown. Winter winds begin to blow and soon the trees are bare. The farmer looks out over the pumpkin patch where only a few dead vines remain. But when spring winds warm the earth, once again, he will plant hundreds of pumpkin seeds. And once again, they will grow from seed to pumpkin. And that was From Seed to Pumpkin by Wendy Pfeiffer. In the back of this book, they have a section called Find Out More About Pumpkins. And they also have a yummy recipe for roasted pumpkin seeds and even a science project of how plants drink water. Now it's sticker time. And today's sticker is Flower Power. Thanks for joining me today. I had so much fun. If you like this story, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Please visit me daily to reread this book and to read new books. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks.